This is Director's Commentary. With your host, Adam Smeltzer. And your guest, Joshua Staple. Hello, and welcome to Director's Commentary. I'm Adam Smeltzer, your host, and this is my special guest, Joshua Stapel. So, uh, I guess we are going to start off by Josh here has actually directed a few things of his own. So, go ahead and tell us about that. Well, I had um, a nice experience directing a commercial, as you know, that was kind of an advertisement for my book that I wrote. But uh, as of now, it's just some memoirs that I've written, but I hope to um, have people experience it through live theater, because I think that would be um, uh, the best way. So directing the commercial actually helped me uh, as my future role as a director of the the one act play I hope to bring out of it. Yeah, everything you direct, it, it, it always uh, comes up and like catches up to you later as some kind of learning experience I've found. Um, like I've directed a few things and it, you know, just got a few friends together, directed a few things, tons of fun. And then you come back to that later, next time you direct something, you remember uh, some of the things, either the way you directed or some of the experiences you had and it just makes the experience like that much better. Uh, in terms of like how much fun it was to make something again or um, even your skill level. But we'll get back to more of this after the commercial break that we got to cut to. So stay tuned, guys. See you in a minute. Have you ever felt lonely eating by yourself? No matter what situation, at home or out in public, it is never fun to eat alone. Well, that problem can be solved with Forkshire, the animated silverware that makes you feel like less of a loner. You can eat with ease and also have a friend that won't judge you for stuffing your mouth. Goodbye boredom and welcome to the Forkshire. Forkshire comes in three different versions but are still the best of company. Welcome back to Director's Commentary. So, uh, yeah, some of the, who are some of your favorite directors? Let's say your number one favorite director. Well, I think my favorite director would be Aaliyah Kazan because I um, am appreciative of his work on A street ca Streetcar Named Desire and uh, some of the um, other Tennessee Williams films he worked on. I believe he directed Sweet Bird of Youth. And uh, I just uh, am intensely aware of how the characters feel by his direction of the shots and it, it enhances the, uh, the mood, and when you see um, when you see the footage that comes out later that you know that was cut out of the film, you see how strong of a director he was, and yet hampered by the studio system and the the code at the time that unfortunately um, didn't allow him to produce the f films quite the way he wanted to. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Sometimes y I heard you mentioned. Uh, some like you know deleted scenes and stuff in movies it, it really gets to me sometimes when directors will cut a scene out of a movie and it's it's such a good scene like so there I've seen a few deleted scenes where you just you're like oh that should have been in the movie it's either a cool action sequence that's a little bit short or uh, you know some kind of emotionally impactful moment that should really be in a movie sometimes um, but yeah so I would say I've got a few favorite directors. I really enjoyed Edgar Wright when he, he directed Baby Driver. He was fantastic. Every, the, his style was great, matching everything up with the music. I think it's a brilliant way to go. But um, we are going to have to end the show for today. So I'm Adam Smeltzer. This is Joshua. And we will see you guys next week, hopefully. Stay tuned and have a good night. <laughs>